So as ever, the attacker will always have his legs on the inside. We're going to pick one leg for the first technique, which is the single leg X. We're going to work straight ankle up from here until we get the tap. Okay? And then we're going to make sure the knee is bent and work our feet to the inside. We're going to work the outside heel hook here. Try not to rip it across, it's all in the hips. Yeah, we go back to the number one position, but without the leg lock. So lie back, pop the knees leg to the other side. Are my legs now going to the inside again, just as with the first thing. This is now the saddle position. We're going to work the heel hook here. This is the inside hook. Let's go up. Okay, now from here, I'm going to move my hips around. And because his knee isn't quite facing my hip, kick back, cut, cut. My head is on his inside knuckle as a pillow. We pull back, the hips go forward, curl in. From here, he corrects himself. I then switch my legs to the other side for 50-50. Here, I point my knees to the outside, which exposes the heel. Bring this all the way back. Okay. Just a side note, this is not the only grip. You can also try butterfly grip or reverse butterfly grip. Okay. I just like the standard version. Yeah, like this. All right, from here, we're going to pop his leg to the outside. And we're going to do, there's two versions of this. You can either do the out, outside heel hook, but that's quite hard to dig for. So I would suggest changing that to straight ankle lock. But our feet are on the outside. We can try straight ankle lock. From here, keep the straight ankle lock grip on. I'm going to move my hips down to the ground. My knees are on the floor. I'm going to reach forward and we've got the belly down ankle lock here. This is the new technique. We're going to sit backwards and bring the knee with us and sit back. So I'm sitting on him and I've collected the knee. We're going to spin around and then we're in the knee bar here with the, with the showy if you want. We'll be going with this. He goes, we release the knee bar. He goes onto his belly. And then we do good old fashioned Japanese Jiu Jitsu knee separator. That's two, two new techniques for you.